this is coming from 95 you will pass a love station and a pig stand barbecue you will take a right into the campground you'll drive a little way you'll pull up next to the beach umbrella and you'll park your RV there the registration is to your left and you'll just walk across there and check in the pool is behind the registration office as well as the first set of laundry and bathrooms shower facilities this is the um, little park that they have they have a train set and a couple of swing sets one of the swing sets the one to the left when you swing on it this part comes out of the pole as you're swinging back and forth the swing sets on the right of me it looks fine they have a nice little playground area this is their miniature golf it's it needs some work and across here is the tennis court and it looks well maintained To the right of the tennis court where the little white pole is they have they have the shuffleboard pad it's one little strip and here it is to the right of the shuffleboard is a half court basketball court I didn't walk over there from where I was standing it looked fine now we're heading towards a few sites um, and the dog park that they have and where the dog park is there's a dump station and the tr uh, a set of trash cans that's the dog park now we're heading down an aisle to look at a few sites and the sites are big enough that you can pull in a class a but once you have your slide out and your vehicles parked you're kind of um, too close to people i think it's like a subdivision for rvs where the houses are really close together that's what it reminds me of. Here's our RV. We're right next to an annual. And then the person on the left of us, uh, she's a transient as well. And as you can tell, we're very close together. And we don't even have everything set up. We're just, we only have our slide out. Now this is where you fill your propane. It's behind the um, registration office or to the left of it depending where you're standing and down the road uh, where you get your propane filled and you'll pass the gator bridge on your left this is mostly annuals back here and there are a few transient sites there's another set of bathrooms a laundry facility and this and it has the rec room in it where they'll have dinners and things but you can see there's a lot of annuals back here this is the rec room and common room um, what we could tell they do bingo in here 
and in this room right here to my left this is where the pool table is a card table and a puzzle a little puzzle area now we're back to the front of the campground where the registration office is. The pool is heated, but it just wasn't heated enough for me to swim. And your first set of bathrooms, showers, and laundry is here. The pool goes up to eight and a half feet. It was really nice. My daughter and husband enjoyed it. There wasn't a strong chlorine smell or anything like that. Um, for the bathrooms by the office, you have to have a code to get in. So once you put in the code for the door, you can go in there and when you walk in, you'll have three showers on either side of the bathrooms and your stalls in the middle. The bathrooms are okay, um, but the the water pressure was very low. I think it was like 50 psi. But the heat, um, the hot water, was easy to adjust. This is the men's bathroom in the back of the campground where the rec room is and it was the same there where the water pressure was low um, and but my husband said these bathrooms oh, I needed some attention now we're back to the front of the campground at the registration office that those doors lead into the check-in office um, she rudely told us that we cannot record in there but um, they just have a little little store in there there wasn't a lot in there this is a laundry facility there are six dryers and eight washers when you start the washer you have to wait a minute or two before starting the next washer because it overflows into the sink and it's a dollar fifty to wash and it's a dollar fifty to dry the dryer on the top right doesn't dry as well as the other dryers that we were able to use um, from what we've seen at this Encore campground we it's a regular campground it's okay but we don't think that it should be classified as an encore um, shopping restaurants and Daytona Beach is close to this campground it's about 10 to 15 minutes away there wasn't any sort of great amenities at this campground but like we were saying, it's an okay campground. It was nice to stay at. The Wi-Fi, our Verizon hotspot Wi-Fi worked great. Our AT&T cell phone service worked great. There wasn't any electrical problems. We actually had to turn our fridge down to one or two um, because um, it got too cold. So that was good. Um, but like I said, the water pressure was very low in the campground going into our RV as well as um, using the showers and things in the campground. But we were just expecting an, a campground that's classified as an encore to have a little better um, amenities or facilities. It's not bad or anything, it's just, it's an average campground.